Greetings Pisces, greetings Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for being here. We are gonna get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. Today, when I am recording this reading, it is actually October the 16th, the day before our super moon energy, which is the 17th. Uh, but we are already vibrating. We all, I can see the full moon out here right now so the hunter moon super moon so we're going to just do a general reading and see what comes out for you okay pisces let's see because it is dark i probably can see the cards way better than you <laughs> all right and these are timeless readings so take what applies to you leave the rest they're also general okay so let's see just shuffle these cards let's see what's up in pisces and I have mixed two tarot decks together, and that's how I'm going to do your reading tonight. Let me shuffle them one more time. This is the oracle deck that I'm using. I'm using the Moonology oracle deck, okay. Um, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, that's the card that came out. You and your loved ones are safe. So there could be a situation here, um, and at the bottom of the deck it says, hold your vision the fixed moon okay all right so you could be dealing with the fixed sign you could have fixed um sign as your rising or your um moon or something like that meaning the fixed signs are leo taurus uh scorpio and aquarius so one of those signs could be your rising it could be your moon or you can be in the energy of a fixed sign, okay? But it says you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So this could have something to do with your home life, okay? All right, so let's see what's coming out, Pisces. Pull these cards and see what is coming out for the collective sign of Pisces. Spirit, could you please give me an accurate card? Tell me the energy that my Pisces as the collective are in. The energy, the Pisces that, I'm mean, sorry, the energy that my Pisces should be in. Okay. Hmm. Some of you all are in the Eight of Swords energy right now. You're in your head. You're worried about something. Okay. Um, you could be thinking to yourself something repetitively right now, thinking about a situation over and over again, kind of worrying about something. But what does that say? You worry about it and then it never happens. So it's just kind of like you worried for nothing. But then if it does happen, it's like you, you worry twice or something. Okay. So there's something that you are telling yourself repetitively or you're worried about. What is this connected to, Spirit? What is this thing? What is this connected to? What is this connected to? So it's the Knight of Cups, but the Knight of Cups is in reverse. So something that you wanted to come in did not come. This could be a love offer. This could be a, um, or you felt like something that came in wasn't sincere. You could have felt like it wasn't stable or it just wasn't authentic. You could have felt like something was really fleeting you thought it would stick around longer or the opportunity would be there longer or the person would be there longer or something. And it seems as though you're thinking about it a lot. You thought something was solid, solid as a rock, but it wasn't, okay? Seems to, it had just, it was... Now, Pisces, that doesn't mean that it was someone who left you maybe you saw that this was not solid and you said okay I'm not going to waste my emotions or time anymore but it doesn't mean that it that you're not in your head about it it's something that you keep thinking about maybe you felt like you wasted your time your energy or something or your emotions but let's keep going spirit please help me get a clear and accurate message about what this is pertaining to my Pisces
okay the ace of swords so you had an epiphany moment you got you're getting some clarity if you haven't already had it you're getting it you're going to get a clear message or this is a download that you're getting from the divine that's going to bring you some sort of answers that you've been seeking. I feel like you've been wanting the answers to something. You feel like either you did not know something or you wish you would have known something prior to investing into a person, place, or thing. Um, but this is you also having that clarity that you've been wanting. You want the answer to something, Pisces. And I'm going to tell you what I see. The answer is right within you. You're looking externally for the answer when you already know the answer. You know if someone is good for you or not. You know if a place is good for you or not. You know if a thing is good for you or not. You already know the answer, but you it seems as though you're not happy with the answer that you get that you have arrived to. You're not happy with this conclusion or something. So it's like, damn, okay. I, I know the truth, but I don't like what I've heard. I don't like what I've seen. I don't like something, you know, that that is right in my face that I'm aware of now that I can't even deny anymore. OK. All right. So let me see what is coming out. What is this connected to? I'm going to get some energy about an outside force. What? Why are you in this energy, Pisces? What is this all about? Mm. So you had a king of wands in reverse. Ooh, a Pisces. Ooh, you was messing with a player, player from the Himalayas, honey. Oh, that's what they thought they were. You were dealing with somebody who did something due to ego. Somebody, you knew something was stroking someone's ego. You had somebody feeling like cocky as hell. Like... Oh, yeah, I got this Pisces right where I want them. You know, they're not going anywhere. I'm going to, I'm going to tell this, I'm going to tell this Pisces this, and then I'm going to tell this other person this. There could have, they could have been multitasking. Doesn't necessarily mean that they were cheating on you, but they could have just been sharing what's going on with you with a number of people, meaning they had a bunch of people all up in your business. This was somebody where you made, you were stroking their ego. That's what it all boils down to. And I feel like for a smidgen of a moment, you knew this. You knew that something you were doing, maybe you were complimenting them a lot. Maybe you were telling them how handsome or beautiful they look. Maybe you were complimenting some of their talents. Something that they were doing made them feel like they was the best thing since sliced bread, honey. And Pisces, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I see a little bit of regret here. I feel like you kind of regret putting somebody on a pedestal. Or you regret giving them so many props. Or you regret giving giving someone something like you regret stroking their ego you it's almost as if you feel like you created a monster or you knew this person wasn't good for you or sincere and you just kept moving in that negative direction I don't know why I don't know why or you let them stay in your life knowing that they were not being sincere they were doing something this was for popularity though pisces let me see what else is coming out the four of wands is here aries energy with the king of wands and the four of wands both of those are aries cards this could be someone who has significant aries placement you may have significant aries placement too this could be why this is coming out but this is this four of wands is in reverse though pisces this was someone who you envisioned building with them in some way. This could be somebody who you envisioned having a home with or a deep connection with uh, something. But it was fleeting. Okay. I'm going to tell you something too, Pisces, what I see. Someone was in this person's ear telling them to play you telling them to play with you or kind of 
they could have been saying, oh, you you got with Pisces, you bag Pisces. you." So there was some sort of, I almost feel like there was some gloating there. Being with you made this person feel like they, it's almost, I, I hate to use the word trophy wife or trophy husband, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Whereas you were taking something serious, this was just bragging rights for someone. They were going to milk this cow until the cow was skinny, skinny cow. <laughs> They were going to milk it. And I'm not laughing at you, Pisces. I'm just saying they were going to milk, milk this for all that it was worth. If they could, if they can get that, I'm a player player from the Himalayas. I got, I got, you know, women. I got, who I got men. I got whoever. Then, yeah, they were going to milk that for what, it, you know. That somebody was in their ear stroking their ego and I feel like you being with them did that too so, so they could have been getting a lot of attention or something like that this could be somebody who was like oh I'm not moving with that Pisces we ain't serious I ain't, we, ain't come, we ain't together like that this was somebody who was like really to me it looks like they were trying to make it seem like you were some sort of fling Okay, let me pull another card. The Three of Cups here. Cancer energy. They could have been celebrating with a cancer or somebody with significant cancer placement. This is somebody who's like, oh, you know, this is somebody who was, t I mean, with the Cups, they could have been celebrating. They were actually celebrated for getting you, Pisces, for having for they could have this could be somebody who messed with a lot of men or messed with a lot of women but it it just looks like they were celebrated for getting you for having you for being in your energy for having you as a friend having you as a lover having you as a significant other but what they were doing was making it seem like it wasn't that serious they weren't that involved there's so much of a king of wands that they don't have the time to settle down with this four of wands in reverse. Okay? There will be no happy outcome to you all. There will be no, this was just a moment in time. This is what they were telling people. I mean, damn. You, with this, with this ace of swords and your portion of the reading, Pisces, this looks like you got wind of this. You kind of were like, excuse the f out of me. What? I know you're not faking like you all that. You know? All right, let me see. This um, eight of swords. What is that about? The moon card in reverse. Yeah, something was revealed to you. And I'm going to tell you now, now that you know the truth about a situation and how somebody was carrying it, I feel like somebody could have even told you or either you just figured it out on your own. But I feel like that's why you're in that Eight of Swords energy. Because you like, why didn't I cut that clown off sooner? I really do feel like, and this came up in another reading for you. I really feel like somebody was faking like they were built like that and they're not. You were just really there stroking someone's ego. But I've noticed that with a lot of Pisces. Pisces will come in and sincerely love somebody and sincerely treat them kind and the person it'll be if Pisces is that type oh they're broken let me heal them let me fix them let me love them through their pain and what do they do oh you love me oh 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 wow then I must be all of this I must I got somebody like you then they start mistreating the same Pisces who try to come in and love them through their pain it's something that you're seeing Pisces that you like oh hell to the gnaw I know you didn't I know you didn't even try to carry it like that I know you weren't out here making it seem like you was the best thing since sliced bread when your ass ain't nothing but the damn ends on the loaf. Stop playing. Okay? You gave somebody a chance and, and boosted their ego and they really out here 
they was really out here putting you down in some way. So, Pisces, let me see what else is coming out. Mm, Ten of Swords in reverse. Eight. <laughs> Hey, ah, Pisces. Yeah, you stayed in your head about it. You was kicking yourself for a moment. Like, why in the world did I give that damn person a chance? Why did I even waste my time? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? Hey, Pisces, that Ten of Swords in reverse, you, are, you seem to be over it. All of the smack, all of the slick talk they were pushing out about you, you know, giggling, laughing, thinking it was cute, thinking it was funny, getting their little clout, getting their little ego stroke. Pisces, you're, you seem to be over it. You like, okay, all right, it's cool. Let me see what else is coming out. What's this epiphany moment about the three of pentacles here? You're rebuilding. You're working on yourself. You you found something else that's that is deserving of your attention. You could be taming up, partnering up with somebody. This could be you. Maybe you're focusing on school, or there's some sort of advancement in your career. Maybe you're focusing on something. Maybe you could be working with the public in some way, but I feel like whatever it is, your reputation is building in a very good way. You could be either mentoring somebody or being mentored. I do see you learning a lot, though. And this is you really staying focused with this epiphany moment. It's like you're like, okay, I'm going to put my energy instead of feeding into keeps showing up to this circus let me put my energy where it belongs and i feel like that's exactly what you're doing okay um let me see what else is coming out what is this king of wands in reverse mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. the eight of pentacles baby <laughs> i'm lost without you it's easy to see somebody's lost without you pisces all of that faking faking the fuck because that's exactly what they they were doing they were faking whoever this is can't even focus good because you know what this is somebody who was actually caught up with you they were really caught up but they didn't want to let their little crew know so this to me seems like a very immature type person this could be a um this to me looks like a person who doesn't like to admit when they're in love or i don't know they, they could just be around a circle of simpletons or something maybe they just this could be you know if this is a masculine energy they could be a, around a bunch of other masculine energies who are single or they don't treat their wives and their girlfriends right or something so this is almost to me like peer pressure like high school kind of stuff trying to impress the boys you know even though you really like the girl but you know he's trying to impress the boys by pretending like he's not that into her when for real for real it's hard as it's, it's to me this is seem like it's super childish but this this person is in the eight of pentacles in reverse because now they feel like damn i didn't put in enough work i did not commit enough i wasn't focused enough too busy trying to impress the rah-rah crowd. Okay? People who ain't even got their own relationship on point. Giving that person advice. Okay? So let me see what that four of wands in reverse is about. Mm -mm. The seven of swords in reverse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me tell you something. You talking about something coming back to bite them in the ass. The ease ass. For real, A Pisces. The deceitfulness this person. If you knew some of the things that this person was saying. That they put out about you. You would not have nothing to do with them. When I tell you nothing, nothing. There's something that was very deceitful about this person's behavior. Some sort of evidence was left behind, though, with that seven. So this is a person who's real sneaky. 
they were doing something extremely sneaky with technology, words, or something. It's something that they don't want you to know about, though. They don't want it to be revealed. This is something that they try to get away with. They're hoping that you will never find out something that was said or something that, that was done. All of this was for show. All of this trying to impress people who, to me, it looks like the people don't even... Okay, hold on. Let me see what this three of cups is about before I say any damn thing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> hey, hey, Pisces. Shit. Okay. The people who they were trying to impress are stuck energetically, stuck physically, stuck... They could be stuck back in time, meaning that they never... Their frontal lobe never fully matured. They could still be acting like they 22, 21, you know. You know how they say that frontal lobe needs to mature um, and it doesn't really mature until they get to that part of the brain that, that creates, um, I'm sorry, that um, helps children make decisions So, and, and it's, I need to read up on it again. I used to, it's just been a minute since I've even discussed it. But there's a, there's a part of the brain that really doesn't mature until around the age of 25. And I feel like there could have been some sort of like um, disturbance or... I don't know. It's, it's, I just kind of feel like this person surrounds themselves with really immature people who no one really holds each other accountable. No one tells each other, you know, that you need to grow up. That's not cool. Like you need to, you need, that's not cool. Like you need to grow up. You got somebody who give a damn about you. No, they're around people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this. Act like that. Yeah. Cause I don't mess with these hoes. I don't do that. Never growing up, got gray hair flying in every part of it, growing out of every part of their body, probably even on their damn back like a silverback, and they're still behaving like they're 21, 19, 18 something. Whoever the, your person was is dealing with somebody who's stuck back in time. They've never grown up. They've never really matured. Just because a person is older in age, that does not mean they're mentally older. And this is who your person was surrounding themselves with. This is why they could not be committed to you. This is why no matter what you were doing, you, you all could not progress. So in a way, they allow people to keep them back as well. That's why your connection did not progress. And this is where I see you have some sort of regret. Let me see what else is coming out. Mm, the fool card in reverse. I'm going to tell you something. This person feel like a damn fool. They're realizing now that they were afraid to take a leap of faith with you and be honest with their friends, their, their family, whoever, their community, whatever. They feel like a fool. They feel like they landed flat on their face because something backfired, Pisces. Now they wish they would have invested the time, the energy, this eight of pentacles into you. They wish they would have put in the work now. Let me see what else is coming out for them. Mm -mm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Damn. They're feeling like the people who they trusted or was, whoever they were going to don't have their best interest at heart. That was jealous. The people were jealous of what they had. All of this clarity now. All of it. Now they see the light. Now they, now the rose-colored glasses are off. Now they see they have all of this clarity. This is somebody who really did have emotions for you, Pisces. Deep emotions. But they let their pride and ego get in the way. They were faking like they did not have emotions for you. And it looks like this is the reason why you all have ended. 
they're now they're blaming the other. I shouldn't have listened to them. They was jealous of what I had. They were jealous of. They didn't want me to have somebody who has stability or more stability in my life or somebody I can grow with. They didn't want me to have that. They can't completely blame those people. Yeah, those people may have felt like that, but they were the ones who were with you. They were listening to a bunch of people who are stuck. So why in the world would they blame them? They made that choice to be in that Three of Cups energy, that circle that they were in. Partying and, you know, giving those people their time. And it's something that they did that was extremely deceitful, though, Pisces, or something that they said. They were very, this is a very sneaky type person. But when I tell you they are regretting it so bad now, let me see what else. I'm going to pull one more card for them. Mm, the world card is in reverse. They feel like something came back to bite them in the ass. They feel like they're getting their karma. All of these reversals, they feel like they have gotten their karma or they were in a bad circle. They have a bad circle of friends, bad judgment or something. I told you they're completely blaming. So if this is their family members that they were confiding in and their family was telling them to use you or disrespect you or don't take you serious and mistreat you. When I tell you they're completely blaming their family. Oh, my family, they just jealous. They was jealous of me. They're jealous of me. I should have stuck with this person. They just didn't want me to see. They didn't want to see this person love me. They didn't want to see this person treat me right. Nobody told them to, to walk their bird legs over there and, and be squawking about y'all business to their family or to their group of friends or whoever. They chose to do that. So let me see what's going on with you, Pisces. It looks like you have decided to, let me shuffle these cards a little more. It looks like you have decided to have some sort of collaboration or team up with someone that's helping you get to another level or grow in some way. Let me see what else is going on with you. But I see you kind of got clarity about what was going on and you could have had some sort of regrets about it at first but it looks like you've moved on from it let me see what else is coming out yeah the three of swords is every verse so you've healed from it it looks like you're kind of letting it go you're like okay this is what happened let me just deal with it it is what it is but i'm gonna just go ahead it's like you've already taken taken the swords out your heart and you're like this is who this person is and i'm moving on it's like your focus is somewhere else now the six of cups this is someone who wants to come back they really want to come back now Pisces look at the bottom of the deck five of wands there's a lot of conflict they could be having issues with the, the very family members or group of friends or something there's a lot of combative energy arguing finger pointing blame about why things didn't work out with you all let me see. I'm going to pull one more card for you, Pisces. The two of swords in reverse. Your mind is made up. You remove those blindfolds. If you were on the fence about something, you've made your mind up. It may have been hard to make your mind up, but you've made your mind up about a situation, a person, place, or thing. It does look like you're in the energy now where you're collaborating with someone. You could be going through training, or you could be... Um, learning something or going to school or it's it looks like it's something to do with your public image that you're rebuilding okay um you cutting someone off or breaking away from them is actually helping you look better people may be very much aware that this person wasn't treating you right they could have even been kind of looking at you like, are you crazy, Pisces? Why are you dealing with somebody like that? Look, do you, if you knew what they were saying about you or, you know, like their ego is being stroked at your expense. Like, so I kind of feel like people kind of wanted you to break away from them. So your image is actually getting better the longer you stay away from them or, you know, the longer you don't deal with them. There's some sort of combative energy pertaining. They, it, there could be a lot of blame. They're blaming other people. People are blaming them. 
arguments, disagreements or something. Now they feel like people were jealous of what you all had. The Pisces, if, if you were indecisive about whether you want that person to come back or not, I kind of feel like you've made your mind up because your, your focus is elsewhere right now. Okay? All right, so I'm going to close out your reading with one more card. It says, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So around this time, you will be showing the world who you really are. And that could be what you're focused on right now like i said something about your public image i kind of feel like you either feel like you wasted your time your emotions or something on someone but it does look like you you know after being in your head for a moment you just kind of like was like okay well i'm over it now so you i'm, I'm so proud of you pisces you seem to be really focused on something a whole lot better you could have done a core cutting or just it just looks like you took your power back you're focused on better things, um, opportunities, or something. Yeah, but this person is in huge regret over how they acted. They feel like they're getting their karma for what they did to you. But they're also blaming some group that stayed in their ear and encouraged them to treat you badly. But they need to take accountability because nobody made them do anything. They chose to behave like that. But I'm proud of you, Pisces. I'm so proud of you because it really looks like you've changed your focus. You've gotten out of that stage of, damn, why did I let them do this? Why did I let them do that? It seems to me in this reading, you're like, okay, you know what? I can't change the past, but let me tell you what I'm about to do now. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm focused on. And it's good energy. I see good things for you, Pisces. Okay. All right. So stay focused. I love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Wishing you all nothing but prosperity, healing, growth, happiness, and joy, love, great health, Thank you to everyone who has supported this channel from day one. Um, hit that like, share, and subscribe button on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, please leave, feel free to leave a comment if you like. And please go check out my other channel, Star Spa. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I love you all. Talk with you later.